Select. Finder. Dolphin. Dolphin. JIT 64 DC vertical line open GL Speech muted. Nerds, 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 nerds. Okay, this is much better. Much better. I like the sound of this a lot. Okay, um, long story short, I am now... I am now playing with mono audio on my Mac. Thank God Mac actually has that feature. Because the only reason why I have this pair of headphones connected is because of its microphone. Uh, the other pair that I used to have that I played during part 3 and 4 are now completely broken. So broken in fact that the microphone on it doesn't work. And I tried using the internal microphone on my Mac because it... Because, I don't know, I just did. That didn't turn out very well at all. Thank goodness I made a state right before. So I can redo this. Uh, this is June 19th. And I'm going to start recording parts in bulk at this point. Because I want to get them out as quickly as I possibly can. Before I uh, have to leave in a few days time. Because I enjoy this game a lot. So yes, uh, I will not be enjoying the experience as much because... Uh, because I'm only hearing things out of one ear. But at least you can now hear me as well, which is good. And there's not as much clipping as there used to be. This is the same pair of headphones that I used during parts 1 and 2. Uh, that's probably going to change at some point. I'm going to be getting a new pair that will hopefully be able to uh, actually give me normal stereo sound. But uh, for the time being, let's just do this. Uh, so, this is row 5. Row 5 is a little bit harder. Uh, I did get one retry. And also, I do think that the perfect attempts, if they're always the same, are going to be the same. Uh, the perfect attempt that I got, I couldn't do. It was really hard. So I'm not sure if I can do it now. But, uh, we'll see. But, the first game in here is called Catch of the Day. I need to get my voice ready. But anyway, Catch of the Day is a fishing game. Yeah, you have to fish. There's three different types of fish, and each fish has its own different sound and rhythm. The first one is... is the quick nibble, which is just one, two, three. Now, if you let him go, this happens. I like the noises it makes. And it can go doo if you mess it up, or boing if you're early. One, two, three. That's for all the fish. If you mess it up, either if you're early, it goes boing. If you're late, it goes doo. Now, next one is the pause gill, which is going to have a little bit of a, a cue. Like this. So, you have to wait for a little bit. One, two. If you let him go. One, two. Uh, yep. There's that one, which... It takes a little bit of time getting used to, but this next one is the hardest one. It's called a three fish. And the reason why it's a three fish is because you have to wait three and a half beats. Well, kind of like this. Yeah. One, two, three. It's kind of hard to get used to. Waits an extra long amount of time before. One, two, three, go. Now if you let him go, that happens. One, two, three. So that takes a little bit of time to get used to. And, uh, this track is probably my least favorite track in this row. I don't know, I just don't feel like it's one of my favorites. There's many tracks that I like. This one, I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Well, not weird. It's just not my kind of style. Too. So most of these are going to be quick nibbles. 
The first Posgo and three fish that you're gonna encounter have uh, countins, but the other ones won't. Like that. Same with the three fish coming up. A little bit offbeat now. One, two, three, and one, two, three. You all, you just press A for all of this. There's no A, B. One, two, three, go. But that's the only one that has a count in. The rest won't. I like one of the things I like about the the game in general, Rhythm Heaven Fever in general, the way the patterns are made and go, is that sometimes they have like repeating elements. So they're usually the same thing repeated twice, or parts of them repeated twice. Oh, what the hell? Why did it just do that? That happened yesterday as well. One, two, go. Now this next part is the most crucial part. I'm gonna try not counting. Yes. So, yeah, the patterns. I like the fact that, for example, this, we've seen before, it's a, it's an, like a reoccurring, oh, it's a reoccurring thing, so you kind of know already. One, two, three, yay! It's straightforward, you, you kind of already know what to expect after a while. And I like that. Superb, good! That's one reason why, okay, I, I, I have, I have nothing against it, I'm just gonna say right now. The Rhythm Rage extension pack, as good as a, a pack, and as good as a, a huge amount of those ideas are, although some of them are copies from Rhythm Heaven, but, you know, I can't blame Audio for doing that. What the hell? From FaceTime. Oh. Uh, I'm going to, uh, silence that and hope that he's not gonna call me a bunch of times and interrupt because I kind of don't want to pause and redo it. But yeah, but, but the patterns in that pack mostly are non-reoccurring, they're all different, and makes it very hard to memorize the levels as they progress. This one is a little different, it doesn't have as many recurring patterns, it, but the, the Q set is much easier to memorize itself, so... I'm not really going to talk about this much. I'm j I just thought I'd mention it. Something something that I think is, is worth mentioning. But here we go. It's Flipper Flop time. Flipper Flop is a game where you're a team of little baby seals, apparently. Uh, I think it's out on a North Pole. And I'm not actually sure what you're doing, but... Uh, you're marching along, and there's also flipper rolls coming in later. And you're guided by a captain who, depending on which language it is, it, it sounds a little different. In Japanese, he's a little bit more... Uh, he's a little bit... I don't know. I classify him more as being a captain than than of a, a, a coach or a trainer, if you kind of think about it that way. Because the English version makes it seem like he cares a little bit more about the well-being of these little things, except if you read the if you read the backstory in the cafe, uh, you can see that that is not actually true. Two, one, three, four. Oh, that caught me off guard. Caught me off guard because I remembered that from uh, marching guard. Or what the, what the hell? Marching orders. That's what it's called. Now he makes these little noises, and whoa! Speech on yes. the minute. Move. Demo in progress. Accept. Face highlight. Decline button. Press decline button. Dolphin. J P sixty four D C vertical. Speech muted. Ah! It's probably gonna call back a bunch of times, but uh, this first part you just tap. Uh, keep tapping forever. And you're going to see that mechanic li returning later. Not in this game, I mean the next game. Sentai! <laughs> or one of the next games. Now, this next cue is the... One, two, three. Yes. 
In English, the compliments that he gives are stuff like good job and nice and stuff like that, which I can actually understand. I'm not sure what these are, but they're probably the same. Uh, now, this is where the flipper rolls come in with A and B. First, he's going to ask you to do only one. Hajime. Like this. There's a three. And then he says, Hai Kodami. And now you're rolling or marching on your backside. And now you're back on your normal the side you start from. Hai Kodami. Now, uh, in the real game, he doesn't do that because there's usually more than one flipper roll that he asks you. The numbers go up all, all the way up to 10 after the very end. Uh, I mean, at the very the end. battery has charged to 80%. I know. Hajime. So, at this point, he's going to ask you for four of them. It's in Japanese, so... One, two, three, four. Now, let me show you what happens if you mess that up. Yonkolami. Yeah. Yonkolami. One, two, three, four. Let's try again. One more time. Yonkolami. One, two, three, four. So, um, the one other drastic difference between the Japanese and English versions is the way that he counts the numbers. Because here it's a little bit harder to keep track. In the English version, it's much more, much easier to, because he counts a little more clearly. If you do it normally, like he counts, he counts completely fine. Like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. He gets a little more enthusiastic once you start getting to the sevens and eights. And then, but if you do it wrong, he starts going one, two, three, four. And, um, you can actually hear that. Here, he's like, it sounds like he's like growling out the numbers, and it's a little harder to, uh, to keep track. But since I know the layout of the level, I think I'll do fine. Here we go. So you start with only one. Which he actually says in English. Most of them are in Japanese, though. Two, one, two. Did I actually do that? I thought I only pressed B instead of A and B. San Korani. One, two, three. And besides that, you just keep tapping. One, two, three, four. Now, this next part. Go Korani. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, wait. And no Korani. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, wait. And here we go. Hatch Kolani. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yay, yay. Now we're back to one. One. And two Kolani. One, two. But there's two Kolani. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Yes. And the last one is which he actually says in English. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Yay, 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 one colony. I'm not sure what he says at the very end. In English, it's um, in English, it's that's it. But I only messed up maybe once, so. Thank God for uh, almost no input lag, because I love the fact that I can do this with no input lag. Although, it's probably going to kill me this next game, because um, I had to retry it. You'll see why. Okay, I'm going to say this much. There's a very, very um, small amount of inputs in this game, so the amount that you have to do right is much more than... Uh, so there's like a very, very small amount of inputs. All you have to do is press A, and you press A very... 
you don't press A very many times either, so... This is exhibition match, and the reason why you heard an organ and some cheers and all that is because this is baseball. Except baseball that is very boring. It's always the same. I also wonder, uh... How come it's baseball again? I mean, there's always been some kind of sport-themed games in the Rhythm Heaven games, that's right, but... But, like, um... We already had a baseball game in, like, Spaceball from Rhythm Tengoku. Although, Spaceball... I don't know. It's not really classified as baseball. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe visually this looks a lot more like baseball, and that's maybe why it exists. But both of these games are quite early on available in Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix as well. So, the only thing you do in this game is as follows. You just listen to this. One, two, seven, si. And that's it. That's literally it. Now let me show you what happens if you're a little bit too early or late. Oh, that was when you, that's if you miss it, like, really, way too much. And that's what happens if you're very close, but you didn't make it. Now the reason why I'm showing that off is because maybe I'm actually going to have to hear one of those noises sooner or later. Because I want to have myself a little bit of a challenge. I'm gonna, I want to at least partially sing some of this. Because since there's so a small amount of inputs, I kind of want a little bit of a challenge. Because they always come at the same exact speed. It's just the, the music that intensifies and changes pitch and also makes the drums a little bit harder to understand, like... The, the counting, if you know what I mean. Because first, well, you'll see. You'll see. Let's just do this. Woo! So we start with this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and here's the melody. One, two, three, four, three. Now that was easy, but. At this point, it gets a little harder. No, no. One, two. See, like that. No, 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 no. One, two, three, four, three. I'm gonna start counting to myself instead. No, 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 no. And now it's lagging. Ew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ew. Why is it lagging? I don't know. Now this is a little strange case because no 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 one two three four two no 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 Yes! Now this last, this second to last one... There was no audio cues. That was, that was the hardest one. And one, two, three, four, three. So I didn't mess up that much, although I counted much more than I did in the first run uh, yesterday. I just wanted to make sure that I hit those two. The two where it went, that's Um... Uh, where the screen broke, or it kind of sounded like that, as well as the one without the audio cues, because those are very crucial, and I missed both of those yesterday, and that's why I only got an okay. But, uh, not wasting my time with that anymore. Superb first try. Hopefully I am going to get the same perfect attempt and try, I can try that again. But it's not happening yet. It's probably going to happen right after Remix 5. Now, this next game is frust frustrating only because I'm playing it on an emulator. I really can't do much about this, but you'll see that it it lags. It lags a lot. But, judging by the performance I did yesterday, I'm going to do completely fine, because without the input lag, this is much easier. 
no 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 This is flock step, which is very similar to lock step, and I I sometimes call them the wrong way. Uh, when I play Rhythm Heaven DS, I used to say flock step a lot, even though it has nothing to do with flocks of birds at all. But here you are, a flock of birds. I think you're called the Hue Birds of Happiness or something. And, um, two, one, two, three, four. You just keep tapping just like in Flipper Flop. That's what I talked about uh, when you had to keep munching in there. I said that that's going to uh, keep existing. Um... <coughs> And that's where it's in this game. Now, there is a kind of a kind of noise that it makes when you let go of the button. So, if you can kind of hear what it sounds like when you're pressing the button. So, if you're letting it go, kind of like when you're normally, like when you're pressing a button like this. Or when you're, like you're, um, try to do it on rhythm and you're going like one, two. Kind of like the textural sound that, that I just showed off now. Now, the second cue is this. You have to hold A, B for one beat. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And that's going to happen very often. Very often. And excuse me for any noises. So... To save myself from uh, accidentally pressing A at the wrong times, I just press minus to skip. By the way, it's already lagging. That is not a good sign. That's going to get even worse. This music is uh, very futuristic sounding. It sounds very. It sounds very. Uh, I don't know. It sounds futuristic to a certain degree. It sounds uh, basically about the same as the level select screen that we're getting that we're gonna no get starting from part 8 you'll see for those who have played a Rhythm Heaven series game before or this game they already know what I'm talking about but uh... yeah And this is where things get laggy. We got to turn the not disturb on. And there's also gonna be a huge amount of jumps right after the other. One after the other. One, two, three, four, five, six. No! Oh no, this is where it gets really laggy. No, 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 no. No, 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 I've been told that the visuals do a lot of random things in this game, and that's probably why it's lagging so much. Especially this part, which I have no idea what it does, or what it doesn't do, but... At this point, it's kind of hopeless. I can't do anything about it. But at least I'm doing fine uh, in the timing department. And we're almost at the end. Kind of like Monkey Watch, we just have this, we have this section where it fades into silence, but you have to keep tapping. In fact, it actually also... Oh, never mind. Yeah, like that. You have to keep doing that, otherwise you're gonna mess up. Anyway, superb! Good. So, is the remix going to happen, or is the perfect thing going to happen? Let's find out. Nope. We have the remix first, but then the perfect attempt, I think. And if it's going to be the same, well, it's going to be hard. Not sure if it's going to work or not. But, remix 5 is... Because Remix 4 had like a Japanese and uh, the Samurai was a really good game for it. Remix 5 has the theme of prehistoric and dinosaurs and stuff. Except the music doesn't really reflect that. It's a, it's a, it's a good track, I like it. 
Um, I'm not sure exactly how the visuals work, but... Just a minute while I adjust my position here. I'll be fine, I think. Uh, while doing the remix, I don't think there's going to be any problems, although I am probably going to mess up the patterns or while I'm sp while I'm saying them, because uh, yesterday I also messed them up and I kind of forgot about... Like, it's one of those remixes I don't play as much as some of the others. Six and seven and everything... Like, everything up to this point, I, I played much more. Remix two and five being the ones I haven't played the most. Uh, are the ones that I played the least, I mean. Anyway, let's do this. Here we go. We start with... Catch of the Day. One, two, three. An exhibition match. One, two, three. Go! And then there's more Catch of the Day. And one, two, three. Now, we go to Black Step. Oh. That's what happens if you mess that up. Three. More catch of the day. And three, four, seven, five. How's it met? Flip the flap. One, two. Flock, step. Yeah. It just immediately transitions. Now, so does here. Three, four. Zentai, hajime. Oh, that was not good. One, two. Now, this is the other weird part where... One, young. Or C. Sorry. One, two, three, go! Wrong numbers. Anyway. Got it right, at least. Superb first try. Good. This goes to show how, uh, how much stuff you can learn if you practice it first and then record it second. But, uh, I usually don't do that, actually. I haven't practiced most of these since, like, the time I played them first, like, two years ago. So. <laughs> So Remix 5 is done, although the stuff that I said while doing it may not have been very accurate, because I kind of forgot what I was supposed to do and got carried away, but never mind. New row unlock, new game unlock, and perfect attempt, finally. If it's the right game, that means yes it is. Uh, just like in Rhythm Tengoku, probably, and definitely in DS, this game also has this thing where it... It, um, automatically gives you a game to do a perfect on, and it stores that in the save file, so it's never random... Well, it's random in the sense that whenever you do one, it chooses another one randomly, but, uh, that cannot be any of the very new games that you just now got medals on, because... Um, because it's it's going to choose a game right away, right after you do the perfect, or right after you get rid of, uh, well, if you mess them up. And so, actually, it may even choose more than one at a time. Uh, I think, and with them having DS, it actually chose about two or three of them in advance, uh, it's at some point. But yeah, uh, this is Remix 3, and I got two of about halfway point last time. Not sure if I can do it now. Probably not. But uh, there's only one way to find out. Here we go. One, two. Jump. Jump. One, two. Jump. 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 One, two. One, two. One, two! Yeah, and... No, not again! Frig! Uh, why? Well, I got much farther than I did last time, that's for sure, but, uh, nope. Didn't work. Did not work. 
at least we have uh, a little bit more content to go through because we have a two-player game in the form of Flip or Flop. Of course, I got the medal for Micro Row first and then unlocked the um, this. Now, I figured out that the only time you hear an edge sound in here, which is... Uh, let me show you. If I go back, it's this. That you only hear that if there's there's um, new games. Uh, there's more than one game that you actually have to still unlock, which you can unlock if you complete the previous game. So in the case of uh, part four, when I had ringside and micro row, and I had to do both of those. That's why the edge sound was there. This time there isn't because there's only one game, which is Flip or Flop, that I have to do. Let me switch my position so I can do two players. And uh, I'll do that, and then I'm just going to quit before... Uh, I mean, not before, but I'm just going to quit right away because I don't want to reload the game just for no reason other than to listen to music. So uh, we're going to be in silence again. But anyway, let's do this and then crash. Yay. I missed one part of it up, and you can hear that the hoot, hoot, hoot can also uh, be a little bit weird if you mess that up. And crash. Normally, at this point, you would get the nonunch, nonunch, but instead, you just get a crash. So, yeah. But anyway, that was part five went much well uh much much better than um than uh, last time i mean yesterday when i tried recording this and um part 6 row 6 is i don't know easier in one in a few ways but not in others it's a little bit weird yeah it's mostly just weird it's not hard it's just weird the rhythms are weird the games are weird you'll see but one fact, fun, fun, bleh, one fun fact about it is the fact that you don't need to press A and B ever in this row, in row 6. Even in the remix, like, there's nothing at all, which is quite interesting. So, uh, with that, that was part 5, and I'll see you next time, hopefully with the same setup, because I'm going to start recording these one after the other. And, um, yeah. So I'll see you later. Speech unmuted. Audio hijack. Audio record selected.